Marv Baker. Marv's an average fellow, lives in an average home, in an average town. But today, well, he looks like he saw at the world. He's got something on his mind. Wonder what happened. Give a look at the list the coach put up. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah better luck good. next time, buddy. First team you're going to make the trip to middle. And look at the second team. It's going to stay home. They say the oh, trip's too far. Say, that yeah. first team looks good. Yeah, oh, good, that really. coach. What a guy. Uh -huh. Doesn't give a fella half a break. Just because I missed practice a couple of times, he puts me on the second team. It wasn't my fault I didn't feel good. I'm playing favorites. Hey, what's eating you, Marv? Yeah, what an attitude. Yeah, yeah. Attitude? Who cares? When a fellow's been sick, he just can't be expected to do well. Especially if he isn't given a decent chance. What can you do? How can you tell Mom? So she'll understand. Marvin, quiet, please. Oh. Shh. Come in here, please. I'm in the dining room. What's up? Alice is sick again. Dr. Thomas is here now. What's the matter with her? Oh, I don't know. She got sick at the office and had to come home in a taxi. Well, can't I do something, Mom? Can't I? I don't know. I just don't know. It seems like there's always something. Oh, there you are, Doctor. How is she? What's the matter with her? Well, we'll have to find out. A badly upset stomach. No fever. Keep her quiet and make a rest. Then bring her to the office in a week for a full checkup. Oh, she won't want to do that, Doctor. She's not doing well in her work. Lost a chance at a promotion last week. Oh, she wouldn't want to stay home to rest. She lost a promotion? Yes, it, it went to another girl. Oh. Well, how did she take it? Or what was her attitude? Well, she was disappointed, of course. She hadn't been feeling very well and couldn't do her best work. She, her attitude was uh, dejected. Attitude? Does attitude have anything to do with Alice being sick? Well, it could have everything to do with it. A great many of us have attitudes that often result in illness. You mean a, a healthy guy like me could get sick from an attitude like, say, like a fella's not making the team? Yes, that's what I mean, Marv. There are attitudes about many things that could cause illnesses. Why, well, if you could see some of the patients that come into my office. A couple of weeks ago, I remember, well, let's call him John. John has headaches, very bad headaches. And there's no primary physical cause for them that I can find. He just worries a lot and has headaches. Or there's, well, call her Mary. Although Mary is seldom very ill, she has indigestion. No food allergies, no fevers. But Mary is afraid. I'm not sure yet of what. Or let's take the case of, call him Joe. He has what we call a, a tick. Joe's case is complicated, one for a specialist. But like probably half of my patients, he suffers from worry or attitude problems. Well, well, how can an attitude make you sick? How does a fella? Uh, I mean, how did Alice get sick? Mm, well, um, let's think, Marv. I can see Alice working in her office, thinking about that promotion she knows is due one of the girls. But who will get the promotion? Well, Alice will, of course. She has counted on it. She's determined to get it. But what if she fails? How can she explain her failure? What will people think? Alice was worried about failing. And being worried, she was tense and made mistakes. But each mistake made her still more tense until she made herself sick. You see now how it works, Marv? Wow. You mean worrying about failing can actually make you fail and make you sick? That's right, Marvin. Then Alice isn't really sick. 
Oh, yes, she is. And don't you forget that. Alice is going to need care and time and lots of help to get well. But she'd have got the promotion if she hadn't... Not necessarily. But she could do her best toward getting it. You see, if Alice realized earlier what was happening, she could take a much healthier attitude. She could see this particular opening as, well, as Marv says, as one chance to play on the team for a while. Then she could find out just what her chances were. And for that matter, whether this was a promotion she really wanted. Whether she wanted to make this team. She could start by getting the facts. With the facts of her situation, she could make her plans in relation to those facts. If she knew that she was doing her particular job well, she could plan for a chance to do even better things. Then she could carry out her plan with a broader perspective. Perspective? Sure. You know, see the problem in relation to your life. After all, that promotion wasn't the only thing she wanted in this world, and very likely not the most important thing for her. So why worry about it in advance, or feel a complete failure afterward? If people would just remember the three steps to a healthy attitude. One, get the facts about what's worrying you. Two, make your plan in relation to those facts. And three, carry out your plan. That way you gain a perspective that will make your attitude better, make you feel better. Well, I've lectured long enough. I must get along. I'll see you to the door, Dr. Thomas. All right. Uh, so long, Marvin. Goodbye, Doctor. I wouldn't worry too much about Alice if I were you. Just make sure she's down at the office in a week before check. Your father will be here any minute now. Could you set the table for dinner? Well, sure, Mom. I'll go see if Alice needs anything. I want to think about what Dr. Thomas said. So do I. Get the facts, make your plan, and carry out the plan. What are the facts? Maybe I've been worried and trying too hard. What I'll have to do is go talk with the coach. It won't be easy. Find out just what I can do to make the first team and go on those trips. With the facts, I can make my plans figure out what practice I need most. Work on improving what's wrong instead of worrying about it. Then, carry out my plan. Practice ball handling and shooting. Keep on trying. You know, there's a sense of achievement that comes from making one, making it right. That's probably just as important as making the first team. And I'll have more fun, too. That's probably what Doc Thomas meant about perspective. I think Dr. Thomas is right. About Alice, I mean. Yeah. About me, too. About you, son? Yes. I didn't have a chance to tell you. Coach didn't put me on the first team. I'm not going to Middleton for the game next week. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you wanted to very much. Oh, that's all right, Mom. Maybe with a little more practice, I'll make the team. But I can see now what's more important in the game. I have a better, a, a better perspective. 